leaning, leaning, safe and secure for all of us. Leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, hi, hi, I didn't see that. Sorry, just singing one of my little afraid of tunes here. Um, welcome to uh, Trey Pastor's Saturday Reviews. I believe this is episode, uh, I totally forgot what episode this is. I'll put it on the, the title there. Um, but um, I have a movie to review, and also this is for the Horoscope 101 channel, which I still post my reviews that I do on my regular channel on there as well. Um, now, the movie that I'm reviewing is a Criterion movie that I actually bought, I think, last week. Yeah, last week I did it last week. And and usually, like I said, it's Trey Pastor's Saturday Horror Reviews. And when I read the description of this movie, because I, had, I did hear, hear about this movie before, I bought it, you know, people, good things about it. But, you know, I was reading the description back here, and and they said this movie was a horror movie. And I, I didn't think, you know, you know, that it was before I, you know, saw it. But now after, after I watched this, I agree with the assessment of this, you know, the description about this. That this is basically a, a a horror movie with qualities of a a grim fairy tale. Okay, and it's the movie is I'm talking about is uh, the Night of the Hunter, uh, starring uh, you know, Robin Mitchum, Shelley Winters. Um, this is the only movie that was directed by, of course, the famous actor Charles Lawton. Okay, and he, you know, he had I think he had read the book and then he, had, you know, cried the rights and, you know. And he directed this, but um, uh, *Night of the Hunter* uh, came out in 19. Oh, let me see what year was that? 1955. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's filmed in black and white. Uh, and it's basically the story about a religious fanatic, uh, <laughs> played by Robert Mitchum. Uh, probably his most one of the most terrifying role, Harry Powell, who basically is this religious. Uh, a preacher character that he goes around and basically he goes around marrying widows and, and basically murdering them for their money and there's a great opening scene in the beginning of the movie actually where you see a bunch of kids playing hide and go seek and they discover a body a woman's body like sticking out of a bait not of a out of a not a I guess you call it that not a I guess a, a cellar yeah with the doors open you see her leg all you see is her legs twisted in a horrible fashion and the kids just gather around, and then of course you see a nice shot of uh, Robert Mitchum's character, Heidi Powell, driving off. You know, and, and he actually has a conversation with God, basically telling, you know, saying that God is steering him towards these women, you know, these widows, you know, for him to rob, you know, murder and take their money. And it's, you know, a bizarre and a fantastic conversation, and it basically gives you a, some insight into Robert Mitchum's character. And also, further on, you see him basically in a burlesque show, you know, and that's where you see the famous uh, hate hate and love, you know, writing that he has on his hands. And, of course, he explains what that means in the movie, which I don't want to spoil. But you, you get a good sense of who his character is, again, when he's in that burlesque show, you know, with all the other men watching this, you know, stripper do her things. And his reactions in that scene, I actually love his reaction in that scene. It's just... Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And anyway, he gets busted and gets sent to prison, uh, basically for stealing the car that he drove there to with, you know, for car theft. And he has, I think, since six months or something in this little lockup there. But while he's there, he actually meets a gentleman uh, played by Peter Graves, you know, Mission Impossible guy, Peter Graves. He's the only in this movie, really. His name is Ben Harper. And basically, you see a, a scene of him earlier where he pulls up fast to his house. And he has a young son and daughter there, and he basically tells them, "Listen, I want you to hide this money. Uh, the cops are gonna come get me. I want you to hide this money and, and promise that you'll never tell anybody where this is, not even your mother, okay?" And sure enough, the cops come and get him, and they send him to prison. And and you assume that, like I said, that the kids, you know, hit the money somewhere, but they don't actually show you where it is, where they hit it. But you assume that is, and basically you have uh, Peter Graves' character, and. Uh, Robert Mitchum's character there in the same prison, and of course, Robert Mitchum's character still, you know, Harry Powell still doing that um, bizarre, uh, you know, preacher thing, 
and he's basically trying to get him to admit where the money is. <laughs> and of course, before he gets hung, because actually, you know, his character, Peter Gray's character, um, Van Harper, he actually murdered, uh, uh, I think they said two guards he murdered. Anyway, so he's about to be hanged, but he never really re reveals it. Okay? Yeah. You know, so, of course, Harry decides to take that opportunity to go visit the new widow, okay, and basically the best the thrust of the movie of him, you know, meeting Shelley Winter's character, you know, she's the you know, recently widow because her husband got hung, but, and she has two kids, you know, the, the young boy and the young girl, and, and she's basically trying to, um, uh, Billy Chapin plays John Harper, the older boy, and you have uh, Sally Jane Bruce who plays uh, Pearl Harper, uh, you know, and th they're the two kids. And of course, uh, Pearl kind of takes a shine to uh, Harry Powell's character, but of course, uh, the older boy, he's he's not having any of it. <laughs> uh, you know, he's wary of him and, and what he you know represents and stuff. And, and you can tell, you know, Harry with the smooth tongue, preacher's tongue, he moves right in there and basically, you know, sweeps her off her feet. You know, the young widow played by Shelley Winters, and, and of course, they get married. Of course, but you know his ulterior motive is to basically try to find out where that ten thousand dollars is. Okay, and he thinks that the, you know, he thinks that the kids maybe know where it is. And if, and Robert Mitch in this film is, first of all, this film is filmed in black and white, which de definitely adds to the. It's a great atmosphere in this movie. Like I said, it takes place in the South, and you see those big landscapes and stuff. And the black and white definitely adds to the, to the film. And this makes it a. And Robert Mitchum is like I said, he is, he is. Gary, he's you know he's scary and charismatic at the same time, and he is just a great one of the great all-time villains of all time. Just you know, scary and menacing, and like I said, charming at one end, you know, charming to the people, but like in public and stuff, and religious support and, and pious, but behind doors, he's a you know he's a, like I say, it's no way to say it, he's a killer, <laughs> literally, and. Like I said, this movie is basically the thrust of these two kids basically trying to um, get away from him and, and him trying to find out where the money is. And it's just a, a great thriller, and, and it is a horror movie. It literally is a horror movie because you see these, these kids, and that's what, you know, I guess it's the night of the hunt. This guy literally hunts these kids looking for that money, you know, trying to find out where that money is, of course. And it's just a fantastic movie. Also, Lillian Gish is in this movie. Her character comes into the movie later in the movie. I don't want to spoil her character, what her character is, but she does play a pivotal part in this movie. And oh my! And see, and even this picture. Looking at this picture now, you know, it's just especially after seeing the movie, it looks it, it's, it's even more creepier. You know that that picture of Robert Mitchum holding the you know the young his young stepdaughter there. It's just and he's like I said, he, Robert Mitchum is just menacing and, and scary at the same time and charismatic and this oh my god and, and there's another scene that I don't want to spoil but it involves Shelley Winters and I'll just leave it at that okay it's just the way it was shot it's just absolutely breathtakingly beautiful and it is a shame that uh, Charles Lawton only directed this one movie okay but I think I was reading on some of the looking at some of the behind the scenes stuff I think I think he was just getting ready to get cancer so I think that's probably played a large part in why he didn't direct it any other movie, but this movie is just, it's just intense, and what a movie, and like I said, it's only 93 minutes, but it's intense, and Robert Mitchum is scary, one scary dude, and and just one of the all-time classic villains, and I like the young dude that played uh, his, uh, the, the, the son, uh, Billy Chapin, who played John Harper, I thought he was really good, you know, the, the other, you know, the young girl, you know, the, his sister played his sister, you know, she was okay, you know, but a little stiff, but the, the young actor that played their son, he was John Harper. I think that's the same day. John Harper, his son, uh, Billy Chapin, yeah. Yeah, John Harper. I thought he was really, really good because he basically is basically has to, you know, basically kind of carry the movie with him and his sister on the run from this scary <laughs> Robert Mitchum who's like a just an unrelenting force of evil <laughs> and just intense. I would give a uh, Night of the Hunter an 8.5, just, just nearly perfect to me. 8.5. This, I'm, I'm very so glad I bought this movie. It's, it's one of the best movies I've seen, and 
like I said, Robert Mitchum, I can't say this more than enough. Robert Mitchum is freaking scary. Okay. I can turn on the charm and then be absolutely, you know, a psychopath in, in the next turn. Just, and the fact that he's basically hunting kids makes it even more, more scary. <laughs> if that's possible. Okay. So let me know what you think. If you've seen Night of the Hunter, what do you think of it? Okay. Feel free to leave comments down below. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button down below. And this is Trey Passer for the Hor for Trey Passer Saturday Horror Reviews and also for Horoscope 101 channel saying so long and take care.